Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks to customize your Galaxy S24 Ultra. This will also apply to most Galaxy devices in the past couple years, as well as any of the uh, non-Ultras like the S23, S24, stuff like that. So just general stuff, but I like to make these videos every year when people are getting these new phones and setting them up. They're looking for these tips and tricks, again, on how to customize and set up their device. Um, so a lot of these tips and tricks we are going to be using Good luck here, which is a Samsung application in the Galaxy App Store um, that has a suite of different uh, kind of add-on modules, if you will, um, to add on and customize different things on your device. Now, one thing Samsung got rid of on uh, One UI 6.1, so this does pertain just to the S24 series, is the fact that you can't by default get rid of the navigation gesture on the bottom of the screen. Um, so for that, we need to download uh, I believe it is Registar right here. Actually, nope, that's not it. It is um, Navstar right here. Uh, Navstar is the one that lets you customize your uh, gestures and your notif or your uh, sorry your uh, navigation bar down here. So when we turn on Navstar and we turn on Enable Extra Gesture Settings, if we go over here to Settings and we go down to Display, and then we go to our navigation bar and more options. You get these options down here like you would on One UI 6 or earlier where you can hide your gesture hint right there. Um, so that is something that is not enabled by default on the S24 Ultra or any of the S24s running One UI 6.1. Um, if you have that turned off, I'll just turn it off real quick just to show you guys as you can see here the gesture hint just came back and if we pop back over into settings we're in the same spot and now all those options are gone now by default on 6.0 or earlier they would be there they are not so if we pop back over here and we enable this and we go back to settings poof they all come back turn off gesture hint and it's just like before so that is something that a lot of people are looking for you can do that with good luck now uh, popping back over into good luck um, as you can see my folders are a little bit different and that is using home up so in home up here you can change your task changer so we have this little stack right here um, you can change your folder so i have a pop-up folder so that is what it looks like right there um, so just some other things that you can do with that if we head over here to life up um, i have routines plus turned on which we'll get to in a second as well as registar which allows us to as soon as it loads up here, uh, change the side key, press, and hold action. So a lot of people want to use the Google Assistant rather than Bixby. Um, you can do that with this. So you can just choose that. And now if I press and hold, we get the Google Assistant rather than Bixby. I have mine set to show notifications because I don't use the voice assistant all too often. Um, so that's one thing a lot of people uh, like to do. You can do that as well here in the regular um, settings if you go to um, the side button you can do the power off menu or wake Bixby when you uh, do press and hold if you want to use the register option make sure you do the power off menu uh, so it doesn't override anything uh, but that's how you do that and then if we do uh, double press it's set to open flashlight right here but I do have a routine set that overrides that and that is going to be here in our modes and routines under routines um, you can see here we have double press for screenshot um, so that is something you need that routines plus for if we go in here to add a routine and we go to the if we scroll all the way to the bottom here you can see routines plus which is the good lock module um, unlock with fingerprint button action and s pin action are all part of routines plus um, so i do have another one here it's turned off right now just because i'm not using it at the moment but unlock with fingerprint opens messages and that is set to fingerprint number two um, right there so if i unlock fingerprint number two is my left thumb if i use my left thumb when this is enabled to unlock my phone then messages opens up right after the phone unlocks so you can have uh, different apps set to open or different actions set to run based on what finger you unlock your phone with obviously you probably want a finger or two to unlock your phone just to go to the home screen but you can add up to five fingerprints so you can have a couple fingers 
that do uh, you know different things based on uh, what finger you use to unlock it. If you want, want one to go to the phone app or if you want one to open your notifications or messages or whatever the case may be, you can do that with that. So those are just some of the customization features with GoodLock that you can do on your S24 Ultra and some of the uh, ways you can regain features lost in One UI 6.1 using GoodLock and different mod modules there uh, to customize your Galaxy and get it back to how you may have had, say your S22 Ultra or S23 Ultra that you're upgrading from and get some of those features back that Samsung has changed. So those are just some of the customizations that I use using GoodLock and some of the extra little bits that you can do using those modules. I am Connell with TechAlt. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Helps out greatly. And as always, have a great day.